package arrived in the mail, an exciting delivery. This is our digital temperature controller. Oh, and humidity. Oh, I didn't even see that. Isn't that interesting? Digital temperature controller to convert our freezer into a refrigerator. So that we're going to do today. We have been busy all day getting ready for this conversion and I'm going to show you all the details. This will be one entire video just about converting a freezer into a refrigerator for off-grid solar power and that way that runs much more efficiently. We got the fridge out and we got everything out of the fridge and we're cleaning the area where it was and then we're going to bring the new fridge over well the freezer which is going to be converted into a fridge but the uh, we removed a piece of carpet that was down there and uh, cleaning up the area first and we're going to put our kitchen back together so I just took this out of the box as you see it we got the instructions we have a temperature sensor we have a power cord which is attached and I'm going to take the plastic off this and we'll have a look at it Alright guys, all I've done is plugged in the temperature sensor to the side and plugged this into a wall outlet and then I'm going through the menu functions and I'm going to set to the high and low temperature settings for the uh, now refrigerator converting our freezer into a refrigerator so I'm going to set the low at about 33 and the high at about 36 or so I'm going to look up on the internet what's the best settings, but I think I'm going to go with 33 or 36 or 7 um, for our high and low settings. And obviously you can widen that range to reduce the amount of time the machine is, the device is running, and reduce the amount of power consumption. So right now that's showing the actual indoor temperature at this time. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the functions of this. Your device is going to be different than mine, so I'm not going to go in instructions on how to set my particular device. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and set a high and low uh, temperature in there. Okay, I have my parameters set, and I'm going to. Uh, we've got the fridge over by the kitchen. Now we've opened up a major window here, which is beautiful. Um, moving that behemoth refrigerator out of here. So now I'm going to put the thermostat, the, the temperature sending unit, inside. Mount this on the wall and plug this in, and then we'll be uh, refrigerating. Okay, I'm going to fasten it on here later with some tape or something. I have the temperature sensor down, hanging in here in the middle. Can you see it down in there? I don't want it touching the walls because it might sense something colder than it really is. And then I'm going to seal it on the back side so it doesn't move around. And then I've got the uh, freezer, which is now a refrigerator, plugged in to the temperature controller. And it's immediately and rapidly dropping in temperature. So I'm surprised how fast it's dropping inside there. Um, really impressive. So now that's going to work full blast and full power until it uh, cools this down entirely. I think I'm going to put, uh, when I'm done getting this all hooked up, I'm going to put a kilowatt meter on here and see how much power it really uses um, throughout a day. We're still filling it. It's down to 49.8. Um, we're figuring out how to put things in. The shelf takes everything. The removable shelf takes our condiments and things we use every day. And we're going to take another fridge drawer and put it underneath for vegetables. We got the milk and some other tall bottles on the ledge and miscellaneous things underneath. This is going to work out really well and it's actually going to hold everything we had in that gigantic fridge but yet all the cold stays down. And we're going to go into all the details on that in a little bit here. It's already cycled off. Unbelievable. It's still cooling, started cooling down a little bit still after it shut off. So I might want to adjust my low cutoff range to be a little bit higher because the um, temperature sending unit is still sensing. So it's going to take time adjusting to figure this out. Um, but that was like not even half an hour and it's cooled down. But then again, we put all our chilled foods in there. So so our new uh, freezer fridge conversion is cycling on and off. And 
I do believe it's running a little bit more often than it needs to or than it will just because all the food needs to get the same temperature and the uh, it needs to equalize in there because we just took everything out of the original fridge put it out on the cabinets and counter and then put it in here so I think that the um, I think that this is going to cycle for a few times more often than, than it will later on once it's all established and settled so we'll see what the patterns are but it's interesting to watch the temperature go up and down and um, when it's on it has a I think it says working up here there's a actually the word working when it turns on and uh, so it's pretty cool to watch this I'm very pleased with it so far and we'll see how it serves us now the reason why a freezer converted to a refrigerator is more efficient is that the thickness of the walls in a freezer uh, the freezer has more insulation and thicker walls so in itself already it's more efficient than for what it does then you reduce the temperature and the amount of time that freezer needs to cycle on and off and now you further reduce the amount of energy I've seen claims as low as um, nine tenths of a kilowatt per day running a converted um, freezer running it as a refrigerator like this so I we're gonna let this stabilize for the first day since everything has been out on the counter and I'm gonna put the kilowatt meter on there and we're gonna keep an eye on that and see how much power it uses in the coming days and weeks so after this video stay tuned for updates in the future moving forward on how much this really uses but again we're uh it's definitely going to use a lot less than that behemoth we had in here anyway. And another advantage of the top load freezer converted to a refrigerator or even a top load refrigerator is that cold air is heavier than room temperature or warm air. So when you open your front door refrigerator and pull it open all of your cold falls down and if you stand there barefoot in front of your fridge you'll notice the draft of cold air flowing at your feet so essentially when you open up your normal stand-up refrigerator your front door front load refrigerator all the cold just falls out and then when you shut the door it has to re chill everything in that refrigerator again so it's going to take a lot of power every single time you've opened it a top load freezer or fridge all the cold will stay inside and cannot fall out when you open the top and that's why you see oh the compressor just kicked on that's why you see in the stores that the uh, freezers are top load and don't even have to have a lid on it so this is working now so it's hit the 37 degree top uh, and temperature zone and then it's gonna start cooling down in a minute here once that compressor starts pumping the fluids properly so there it says working in the top corner <laughs> anyway so that's another advantage of the the top load and that's why your solar powered refrigerators the actual solar powered refrigerators that cost a thousand dollars plus for one actually for a thousand dollars you get one about half this size if you're lucky and those are all top load so that's just more efficient design there you go guys converted our freezer over to a refrigerator to run off solar power and become much much more efficient well thanks for got watching guys it's Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project stay tuned for updates and please do like subscribe and share talk to you later